Hey y'all, what is good? It is your girl T-I-G-G-Y and I am back with another video. So in this video, as you can see, this is going to be an updated video for Package Disabled Pro. So one of my followers on Instagram, hi boo, hi pretty eyes, she was asking um, how to use Package Disabler Pro because there was a security update and it was it's causing people issues. She is not the only one who has ask like in a comment or I've seen other people asking other folks like how come you're able to use it um one let's just put this out there I have a note nine it is on 8.1.0 it is completely up to date I have all the security patches and all that good stuff downloaded onto this phone and I'm still able to use package saver pro okay there are some things that I feel um people don't realize now this is just from comments that I've been seeing on other people's, like, Instagram posts. Um, I don't think that they realize that once you restart your phone, there's two things. If you're using Theme Galaxy to add fonts, whenever you um, change your theme, you have to reload those fonts. That's one thing. I just want to put that in there. The second thing is anytime your phone powers off, like, even if you have to load a new font and you restart the phone, okay, you're going to come in with the same issue where you need to re-disable your themes, okay? So, anytime your phone is shut off, once it powers back on, you will have to re-disable your themes. It's one of those things that if your phone powers off, it clicks off. So, you have to go back and do it, okay? So that is what I wanted to let you guys know, a little bit of tidbit of information, but continue to watch. So what you're going to do is you're going to first of all want to get a Samsung theme, like a custom one. So therefore, um, the person I'm using today is me, Kawaii World, which is Gladys. I love her. I love her content. I will definitely make sure to drop her website in the description box down below. And I will try to put her Instagram name up here on the screen so that you guys can actually um, go to her Instagram and follow her. But anywho, I will be using one of her themes. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to her um website and you're gonna pick a theme i always tell everyone to get she has as you can see i have a lot of free themes from her and then at the bottom are the ones i paid for so i always tell people to get free the free themes because you want to make sure this method is going to work for you first because what's the point of purchasing something that you can't actually use so make sure to go grab a free one or if you guys already have some then use one of those just follow along so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and export this uh sleepy twin star um theme by her which i've already done um so once you do that and you export it you're going to go into my files and find that APK you just downloaded the theme you just downloaded you're gonna tap on it once you tap on it you're gonna hit install and it's gonna install the theme now if you have not used packages able pro you can skip this part but because I do use it as you can see I was in the process of turning things off you have to make sure this is off to be able to go into your settings and find wallpapers and themes. If you still have those on, th then you're going to have problems. You need to cut all that back on and then go find the um, wallpapers and themes section. So I'm going to allow this. Cancel that. Deny because you guys know I'm going to disable it. And you're just going to have to keep doing that if you allow the icon on your page and all that. It's annoying. So this is the theme that I got from Gladys as you can see it's super super cute she makes such cute stuff y'all and then what you can do is apply trial and then boom it switches over so then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to package to save a pro and remember check the description because I have the APK file actually linked down there you're going to look for themes and you can actually hit this little search bar and what you'll need is Samsung themes and themes so what I did was I actually added it to my favorites so if you guys want to do that all you have to do is click on it and then tap on favorites okay so I add that one and this one to my favorites so now it's easy for me to get there 
So you're going to check the box, then click, you're going to check, and then actually click on the, the word, and you're going to have to clear data, and you want to make sure that the data size, which is right here, you guys can see my little um, circle, you want to make sure that goes to zero. So you're going to hit this, and make sure this goes to zero. Then you're going to tap on this one, and then you're going to click on it, and you're going to do the same thing. And you, this data right here needs to be zero. So we're going to clear data, and now that's zero. And that is how I get my themes to actually stay on. Um, so again, if this doesn't particularly work for you, it really can depend on what model phone you have and what security update you've had as well. Um, and because depending on what part of the world you're in, you know, some people get updates before others. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, I do have a Note 9 again. It is on 8.0.1, so my phone is completely up to date, security patches and all, and this has been working just fine for me. So I hope that this does help you guys, and I hope that this works well for you. Again, do not forget to check the description box. All the information will be down there. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to comment. Definitely follow me on Instagram. A lot of people do get a hold of me that way by DMing me. So... Let me know if you need anything. All right. Thank you so much for your love and support. I will see you next time.